The Leap Foundation proudly presents the Meet the Mentor podcast with Dr. Bill Dorfman. Dr. Bill is a TV host, New York Times bestselling author, two-time Guinness World Book record holder, fitness guru, celebrity cosmetic dentist, and philanthropist who founded the Leap Foundation. Here's Dr. Bill. Hey, Dr. Bill here. So I have a very special guest that I'm going to introduce you to in a moment, but I have a disclaimer. I am human. I know many of you thought I wasn't, even I had doubts, but I have COVID and I can assure you I am human and suffering just like everybody else. So fortunately, I'm the most vaccinated person you've ever met. Um, I took the uh, AstraZeneca vaccines a year ago. I took two Moderna vaccines and I was boosted in uh, uh, October. So I'm not that sick, but it still stinks. (laughs) COVID is no fun. So um, I just got my voice back today. Uh, I literally couldn't talk the last few days. But that being said, I'm as excited as ever to do another Meet the Mentor. Our podcast has exploded. We are in the top two and a half percentile of all podcasts in the world. And we get amazing guests on. And, you know, they share really great information with you. Why do we do these podcasts? We do these podcasts because most of these speakers have been mentors at LEAP. What's LEAP? LEAP is a motivational leadership program for high school and college students aged 15 and 25 that happens every summer. This year will be in our 15th year. Uh, The dates for LEAP this year, it's July 17th to the 23rd. And hopefully, uh, again, depending on what COVID does, we'll have our usual 500 students at UCLA and then thousands and thousands of students uh, virtually. We will always do a hybrid program. Um, John, who runs my podcast with me, is is on here right now, and I'm actually gonna do something we've never done before. John, I'm gonna have you say a few words because you came to leap with your boys this year, and uh, why don't you tell our listeners what your experience was at LEAP? Well, I can tell you, we were blown away. I know, I know there were so many things that had to be adjusted at the last minute because I think the weekend we arrived in Los Angeles, uh, the new COVID um, protocols were put into place. So I know you and your team were doing so many things to make that a, adjustment, but it was it was so seamless. The kids got so much out of, of LEAP. I know one of my kids is actually uh, applying to be a, uh, a coach there this year. But the content of LEAP is something that I believe every teenager, every young adult should experience because it really does fill in the gaps where they may be having challenges or maybe, you know, working in a way that um, that they're not getting some of the essentials that they need for moving forward and the encouragement. And so I can't say enough about the Leap Foundation and Leap Week itself. And I can't wait to come back to Los Angeles and 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 see my kids blossom in that even further, because uh, it, it was really a, a life changing experience for everybody involved. Yeah, I love that. You know, one of the things that we teach at LEAP is that great leaders don't create followers. They create more great leaders. And so the thing that's so cool is when a student comes to the program and they really feel like they got a lot out of it and they want to get back, they can then apply and return as a coach. So the next time they come, not only are they participating in the program, but they'll have 10 students underneath them that they're helping guide through the program. And typically my coaches that come back three or four times, we put them up on stage and they actually are delivering the content. And for a lot of my LEAP students, their very first speaking engagements were at LEAP. And then they went out into their professions respectively and made humongous humongous strides in, uh, in their careers. So uh, please, please, please check out LEAP. 
go to www.leapfoundation.com for more information. And without further ado, I am going to introduce you to Dr. Dar Radfar. Um, Dar's passion for fighting sleep apnea and insomnia stems from his own battle. He treated himself with an oral appliance. He'll explain what that is. After he fell asleep and crashed his car into a tree in 2009, and it changed his life forever. Since then, he realizes his life's mission of treating sleep apnea and insomnia for others suffering from these medical conditions. He has treated over 7,000 patients over the last 12 years. He is a California Board CE certified sleep apnea instructor and a diplomat and accredited member of the American Sleep and Breathing Academy. Um, Dr. Radfar, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, why don't we jump right into it? So you've been practicing dentistry how long? So I'm in, uh, thank you for having me on. Um, I've been, this is my 20th year. Um, and it was uh, basically about uh, seven years ago that uh, I get out of a car that I just woke up from uh, that I uh, had a 40 mile per hour accident into a tree a block away from my house. The out of body experience that you have, not knowing what you first crashed into, luckily I was blessed not you know, crashing into a family uh, or, or, or another car. Um, and so this was nine years, uh, about uh, nine years, or I'm sorry, seven years after I graduated, I was doing bread and butter dentistry, uh, you know, uh, general dentistry, um, not doing anything with sleep. Um, and so in the last uh, 12, th now 13 years, uh, I've focused a little bit more on uh, TMJ as well and uh, sleep apnea and, and snoring treatment and insomnia. So for the lay person who doesn't know what any of that means, let's go through it. Explain what sleep apnea is. So people assume uh, sleep apnea uh, is someone that's overweight or much older. Um, I've actually, when I, in 2009, I was 160 pounds at six feet tall. Um, and so you, you don't judge a book by its cover. Sleep apnea is basically a, an obstruction of breathing. When you sleep, especially on your back, your tongue kind of falls back and gets uh, a little bit of a suction against the roof of your mouth and you stop breathing. There's actually some sort of a gasping. Snoring is an indication of that maybe some sleep apnea. Snoring is more when the tongue falls back and it vibrates against that back of the throat called the soft palate. When there's a full suction, when the tongue hits that soft palate and there's a total obstruction, there's no air going into your body, that's called apnea during your sleep. And uh, you can have, it can be prolonged for as long as, uh, I've seen some patients as long as a minute, minute and a half that they're not breathing while they're sleeping and people have absolutely no clue that this is going on. But of course, we'll talk about some of the tail signs and symptoms, uh, not just the bed partner telling you, hey, you know, you're snoring or you're, I hear you stop breathing. Uh, if you don't have a bed partner or you don't believe your bed partner, there's ways of knowing uh, before you end up crashing your car into a tree or something more unfortunate like that. So, I mean, so what's, the big problem. I mean, so you're sleeping and you stop breathing all bit. You don't even know, like, so what, you know, I mean, you're still living, you're, you know, I mean, what's the problem with sleep apnea? So one of the major things is when you don't get good sleep, meaning there's obstruction of air, you don't get into a deeper state of sleep where the body can recover. And most importantly, you mentioned earlier regarding COVID and the immune system. And I still believe you're an alien doc. You're, 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 <laughs> You're definitely a very strong individual, uh, but being human, uh, you know, the, the, the immune system replenish itself when you get deep sleep. And uh, so does uh, growth hormone and, and what we, horm other hormones that help you lose weight and uh, get more restful uh, sleep so that you have energy the next day, being, being able to function and have more time and effort and energy with your family and your loved ones or at work or when you go to the gym. So even though you're going day to day and you're kind of like, oh, I'm a little bit more tired today or I'm, I'm, someone has told me maybe that I snore and I stop breathing, it's really not affecting me that much. It's still affecting your biochemistry. Your heart is racing to get oxygen to your brain. And that is overworking your heart, leading to uh, damages cardiovascularly, to high blood pressure, even at young age. Like and you can have high blood pressure in your 30s uh, because of this. Wow. So... 
before you had your accident, did you even know you had sleep apnea? Yeah, um, I was getting more tired throughout the day. Um, going to the gym was a little bit more draining. I was a little bit more lazy, to be honest with you. I mean, I've seen patients till five, six o'clock. I was like kind of dreading uh, doing that five o'clock pa patient, the last, you know, the last patient of the day and having a big case. I was moving my cases more in the morning because I felt like maybe I had a little bit more energy after I had my one and a half cups of coffee. By the way, if you're drinking a little bit too much coffee or uh, or even energy drinks, that's a tail sign as well. Like, you know, it's because I got a lot on my mind. Uh, that's maybe the insomnia part. You know, the, the, the sleep apnea part is much more detrimental to your overall health. And my first indication was uh, being more tired throughout the day, a little bit more dragging my feet um, and not wanting to be, um, you know, more active. Yeah. And, you know, you and I have something very, very similar in, in the dental profession. I mean, mine is not nearly as important as yours, but, you know, back in 1990, when I saw that, you know, the innovation of tooth whitening, and I realized that the, the first products out there really weren't great, I said, hey, I need to do something about this. So I basically used dentistry as a springboard to launch a career and basically, we created the largest tooth whitening company in the world. You are a trained dentist. You know a lot about sleep apnea and dental appliances and whatnot. And so as a result of your accident, you went ahead and you started your own company to help other people. And why don't you talk a little bit about you know, what your company does and some of the adjuncts that you have in your company? Sure. I mean, first of all, the, the way someone can really find out if they have an, a sleeping issue is to do a home sleep test. Uh, that was the first thing that I did was, was uh, open up a home sleep testing company to make it more convenient so you don't have to go to a lab. Um, and, and most medical doctors uh, and some dentists can refer you for a home sleep test. So that was my first, let's call it tangent from looking in the mouth and doing dentistry. Um, but the biggest thing in the last couple of years has been uh, so many people complaining when they come in for their uh, checkups for me to check their sleep appliance and oral appliance that helps position the mandible slightly forward to open up the airway and reduce the snoring and the apnea. Is there a complaining about the anxiety, the, the, the constant um, keep staying awake, not being able to fall asleep, uh, basically insomnia. That was their major complaint that I was noticing lately. All right. So let's say this in lay terms, you know, um, what you're talking about when you're talking about the mandible, that's your lower jaw. Right. So one of the things that helps with sleep apnea is that when you're laying on your back, your jaw falls backward. It helps close off your throat. So there are appliances like retainers and things like that, that we as dentists can make that basically move your lower jaw forward. It's called your mandible and it helps to open up the airway so it gives you a little bit more patency when you're breathing, correct? Right, and that, that's called a sleep appliance. And that sleep appliance, bring your lower jaw forward, keeps it forward with little attachments on the side of the appliance. And that you know, is an alternative to wearing a mask called a CPAP machine, which is continuous positive airway pressure that blows air down the throat. Now they gave me a CPAP back in 2009. I couldn't wear it. And not only is it embarrassing- Oh, they're horrible. Yeah, and they're, they're not fun, they're uncomfortable. If you can get used to it, it's great. Um, so that, the, the, the making a, a few thousand appliances uh, led to me seeing these patients on a six month basis and they're complaining to me about their poor uh, the sleep quality when it comes to their thoughts and their insomnia. And that's when I created uh, Rad Z's. Rad Z's, uh, being Dr. Rad, Radfar, uh, Rad Z's uh, is a formulation that's all natural that helps you fall asleep, stay asleep, and actually has an ingredient in there that acts as a um, kind of like a natural uh, expectorant of the mucus in your lungs uh, to open up your airway when you're sleeping. And so that pivoted from dentistry in the mouth to sleep and home sleep testing and making appliances, and now towards an all natural supplementation. Uh, for helping people sleep better and breathe better while they're sleeping. All right, well, so let's back up. The appliance, I mean, I've been making snore guards and things like that. Is there anything remarkably different between your standard snore guard and the one that you're using now? Um, the, the, the sleep appliances, typically it's durability 
and the freedom of uh, and the comfort of it. So customized sleep appliance, not something that you buy over the counter or online that's fitted to your teeth by a dentist is a lot more comfortable to wear. And there are about um, seven or eight now that are approved by the FDA. And the ones that are really um, a little bit on the cheaper version, I've done those before. Uh, and you know, you've got to make sure you, you have one that looks really durable. And dentists now that are trained, the ones that I trained for sleep apnea to do treatment, um, really know to make, uh, it's called a sleep herpes appliance, if you want to know the actual name. That's one of the ones that I highly recommend because it allows people to, you know, if you clench and grind their teeth, it's a lot more comfortable to wear. Um, and so the sleep herpes, H-E-R-B-S-T, is one of the ones that I use for my patients. I wear it every night for the last uh, almost 13 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you augment that with a pill that you yeah. create with all natural substance called? Rad Z. So Rad Z Z Z. Um, and the reason why I created this is because so many of us, uh, including myself, I started taking uh, at Tylenol PM or Advil PM or Benadryl, right? Over the counter. Uh, it's just because it's over the counter doesn't mean it's, it's not a drug, right? And it makes you feel groggy. Tylenol PM is, uh, it's acetaminophen. It's, it's toxic to your liver. Uh, Advil PM, it's not good for your kidneys. Um, and constantly taking that on a nightly basis. And my patient's telling me they're taking half a Xanax or an Ambien prescription drugs, um, especially taking this if you possibly have apnea where you're not wearing an appliance or a CPAP uh, oxygen machine and you're taking a sedative to calm the mind, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad ask for having you stop breathing and your mind completely uh, shut off with the medication. So you almost have to kind of be careful when you take a sedative uh, to make sure that you don't have apnea Hence why it's important to have that checked out if there are any of those tail signs, such as daytime sleepiness, um, high blood pressure. Uh, when you, if you, are you getting up too many times in the middle of the night to go to the restroom? Frequent nighttime urination uh, is a big indicator as well uh, that you're, you know, you're, you're kind of have that excited uh, 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 fight or flight kind of sleep that creates more urine. Um, and so acid reflux, 60% of patients who have reflux and phlegm in the morning is a result of gasping for air and the acid coming up while you're sleeping. So these, there's a lot of indications that, um, that, that are, are there that push someone to be able to get tested. But definitely, you, if you're going to take something to calm the mind, why not take something that's all natural so it doesn't make you feel groggy the next day? And that's why I created Rad Z. All right. So let's take a shift right now. There's nothing about what you're doing that was taught in dental school. Nope. No. Nope. So let's say I'm in a business, not dentistry, any business. And then I decide, hey, I really see a need for this widget or that widget. How did you start your business? So first of all, I honestly believe in manifestation and, and, and clear thinking and meditation. I'm a very spiritual man, especially after what happened. Um, and to me, you have to be really passionate about this widget or this um, item that you have. Something must really push you to want to make this. And we have the, um, the beauty of internet now to be able to research ingredients, uh, products, that are already out there and see what is out there. And, and if you have an idea to modify the product and make it towards something that is fitting to your needs or your friends or your patients or your clients' needs, it could be anywhere from uh, creating an ebook and giving that information out to uh, your you know, people out there, or it could be an actual product. Some products you can source, you can make, like I make my products, uh, my, my supplements in America, um, some of the other, uh, gadgets or whatnot can be sourced in India and, and overseas and in China. Um, and and the, the beauty of the internet is you could research anything and, and see if those products are uh, available and you can put it together. There's companies out there that will manufacture supplements for you, for example. You know, one of the things that we really stress a lot at Leap is the concept called copy genius. And, you know, I use this example all the time. When I started practicing cosmetic dentistry in Los Angeles, the last thing LA needed was another cosmetic dentist. What I did was I found the five most successful dentists. I called them and asked if I could go in and shadow them. 
and I spent a week in each of their offices really learning how they ran their office, what they did and what made them successful. So I highly agree with you. If you have an idea for a product, see what other products are on the market and really study those before you launch your product so you make sure that you have your niche. There's something special, unique, different, or exemplary about your product that's going to set it apart from other products. Yeah, like for example, I was looked up, I saw melatonin, right? There's tons of sleep products out there. So I, take, I took it, I tried tryptophan, melatonin, 5-HTP, but none of them helped me get that deep breathing. When I, when you, I don't know, if, Doc, if you meditate or if you've ever done any yoga classes, when you take deep breaths, it relaxes you. So you know, I, that's why when I added an ingredient called cysteine into this, into Rad Z's, we, I noticed the breathing getting better. And that deeper breathing will definitely, um, that was the, the kind of difference compared to other products. And it took, you know, taking the other uh, products out there to understand what I could add to it to make it better. So how do you do both? Like, how do you run a dental office and also have this other business going? You know, it's, uh, again, it's, the, it's called passion, right? I mean, I see 20 to 30 patients a day. I do general dentistry half the day. The other half is sleep and TMJ. I do Botox for patients uh, for uh, you know, the clench hard. And uh, these patients are 15 to you know, 60 years old, all ages. Um, and it's basically when I see a need, I, I, I think I, I'm almost uh, dedicated for the cause now. Uh, you and I have a purpose after so many years of uh, doing what we do and being successful is to educate, right? And so um, sometimes I come home, I listen to podcasts uh, such as yourself. I, I'm on YouTube videos that I listen to. I get information at the gym, for example, as opposed to listening to music. I do research. I listen to uh, ideas and podcasts and, uh, and, and it's nonstop. Uh, you know, I have a family as well. I have children. Um, I, you know, you cater to them and it's, you know, you just never be lazy, push yourself uh, to always uh, uh, try to like do something a little bit towards the goal every day. Um, and, and eventually you end up creating a, some sort of a niche or a business that um, will take off because you're passionate about it. All right. So what's next? Uh, so actually, one of the greatest things I'm excited about is, uh, you know, you, you know about Invisalign, of course, and retainers that you've made or uh, even well for babies, right? For example, um, they, you, the, the, your baby drops the pacifier, right? How do you clean that? Or how do you clean a sports guard when you're playing football or jujitsu or, or whatnot? So I've, I'm creating a little bra uh, a spray uh, that you spray with the, the mouthpiece or the, or the uh, pacifier and it cleans it so you can put it back in your mouth. I'm trying to get every, uh, people more healthy, more health conscious. Through the mouth, you can get total health and well-being and do it more on a natural basis. Um, we all are a little bit more concerned about you know, certain things, viruses, bacteria, fungus. Um, without being OCD about it, you can, we can definitely try to be a little bit more clean and taking care of ourselves through better sleep uh, and, and making sure that whatever we put in our mouths, whether it's a night guard or a sports car that fell out during a game or, or, or a pacifier that we give back to our baby, if we can get that clean. That's next for me. It's just trying to create a, an environment of health and total wellness. That sounds awesome. Um, and what is it if, if a student really wanted to contact you directly and ask you questions or a patient wants to contact you and help, you know, and get help for their sleeping problems, what's the best way to reach you? Yeah, so, um, you know, social media has been great. Um, uh, my company, Rad Health Inc., R-A-D Health Inc., uh, the, the uh, handle on Instagram, Rad Health Inc., you can DM me. Um, I actually have a team that sends me all the DMs for me to answer myself. I'm very big on in-between patients. Uh, you know, and there's a lot of educational tools on there. Um, one of the f fun things that I've done recently is that you know, people chew a lot of gum, right? Gum destroys your jaw. Um, people are eating a lot of raw whole almonds. These are all educational pieces that I put on there that you can follow Rad Health Inc. on Instagram and on Facebook um, and on TikTok as well. And so through that, you can communicate with me if you have any sleep questions, jaw questions, 
um, or any business questions, uh, my most favorite thing to do is help other dentists grow their business and, and help ultimately other patients not fall asleep at the wheel, have more energy, not have heart attacks in the early in life uh, and, and lead a healthier life. So please, uh, my, my information is, is definitely out there and I'd love to help. Well, Dr. Radford, thank you so much. That was really, really interesting. And I'm sure that there are going to be a lot of people out there that could use your help. And I applaud you for what you're doing in our field. And, you know, I refer to two of my best friends, my two closest friends, and you've already spoken with them, both suffer from insomnia. And um, I look forward to hearing their progress with you. And I wish you all the best in your new endeavors. Thank you so much for having me. And everyone, uh, stay healthy and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. To learn more about the Leap Foundation, go to leapfoundation.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash leapfoundation or on Instagram at leapfoundation. Listen to the Meet the Mentor podcast with Dr. Bill Dorfman on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.